Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to another Blender daily tip and today we're going to be looking at some output settings that are good for our rendering animation. Uh, so let's say you have this scene here and you want to export it as a video output and uh, say you have a panning camera like this that goes around like this. I already have this animated but uh, the problem is whenever I try to play this in OBS uh, it's a bit laggy so I can't, maybe let me just reduce the screen size. Uh, that's not helping but uh, anyway uh, say you have this in here and you are exporting it as uh, you want to export it as a video output uh, you just go under the render settings and uh, you will find that uh, the default out output is a PNG format uh, which is just a series of images uh, that you have to uh, bring back and uh, or put in uh, a video editor like uh, Premiere Pro, After Effects or even Blender, I put them back into and then re-export them as a video image. Are there other output file, files like uh, MP4 which is under FFmpeg? So if you are looking for, if you want to export MP4 but you don't see it in, under here, you will find it under FFmpeg and uh, in the encoding uh, you can switch over to MP4, you can have it selected here. Uh, that way you can export it as an NP4 uh, video. Uh, the problem with, with this is that uh, if you're exporting this out and you are rendering out a very heavy sequence or a very long uh, sequence like uh, 5 minutes or 10 minutes, even however long it is, uh, Blender can crash when you're exporting and uh, it doesn't matter if you, if you are, if, if the project was about 98 or 99 percent uh, finishing, finished rendered, rendering uh, if Blender crashes before uh, the output is finished exporting, we lo you will lose all that uh, effort of exporting. You will have to re-export everything from scratch. Uh, that's why I would not recommend you using FFmpeg or any other, MP or any other uh, video format output other than uh, image sequences. So you can use JPEG, PNG, any, any other image sequence uh, but uh, I wouldn't recommend using uh, a video uh, <coughs> export directly f uh, from bl Blender because if Blender crashes, and it does crash a lot of times, uh, if power goes off or whatever happens to your computer that it shuts down uh, without Blender completing the, the rendering, the rendering or output, <coughs> you will lose all that work. So what you do is uh, you export out a JPEG or PNG sequence, any image format you want to export uh, into, I have already a few sequences uh, that I've already exported, uh, into an image sequence like this. So it will be a lot of images uh, like this that you have to put, uh, put, put back into a video format uh, and then in a, in a video editor like Premiere Pro or Blender. I'm going to show you how to, to use Blender right now. Maybe let me just show you that. Uh, so I'll just, so we have exported this out. Uh, you just create a new project or just use this uh, if you want. So if you want to use this, you just hit this plus icon here and I, under, I think it's two, no, under video editing, you go under the video, another uh, menu here, video editing, uh, to, uh, to, to open up the sequence editor. And then you have to import uh, the image sequence that you exported. So uh, you just hit shift A or just find the add button here. Uh, and then add uh, the image sequence you have exported. So you go, you navigate to the output you selected when exporting. So that output will be under, so let's go to the render settings here, uh, the output settings here. Uh, that output is, uh, the output is set here. So mine is temp, uh, which is found in your C temp uh, folder. So I'll, you navigate to that and uh, so add image sequence and then navigate to that. So it's under C, uh, temporary files, and uh, name it whatever you want. So I'll just select any of the sequences that I have here. And let me select one that is a bit interesting, more interesting than that. So let me just get this. So to select all the images, you just hold you just press A to select everything. Otherwise, if you just select one image, it will only import uh, that image uh, as a single image, not an entire sequence. So Shift A, import image sequence, and then A to select everything, all the images you want to import, and uh, that should 
import uh, the image sequence, as you can see, is uh, quite long. Uh, so then you need to make sure that uh, you, the length of your timeline covers the entire sequence. So uh, you go here, uh, make sure you know uh, the end frame of your, uh, your sequence. So I think this is it, 2013. So I'll just type it in here as my end frame. 2013 and that should cover the entire length of uh, my sequence and uh, you can play back here so <clears throat> you also want to watch out uh, the frame rate you want to export this at so if you want a 60 frame rate uh, if you want to export this at a 60 fps you just have to go out go back to the output setting and change the frame rate uh, what, I, what I would advise you to do is that uh, note uh, the output settings you have uh, when you're exporting out the sequence and then come back and use those same output settings So I think I exported this at uh, 30 frames per second. So I'll put it to that and uh, then I can play this uh, Yes, yeah, so sometimes when you're playing back this uh, In this view area, this might be a bit laggy So if you want it to be a bit more smooth I just hit in while you know when you have your mouse over this uh, viewport here to access these settings and uh, you can change the proxy render size uh, to a, a percentage of uh, the final output. So I, if I set it to 25%, uh, the output, the preview here will be a bit pixelated, but it will be much faster and much smoother to, uh, yes, compared to what I would have if I set this to a full preview. <coughs> but uh, since we're just trying to export this out, I then uh, we don't really have to worry about that and uh, you can also i think i have a video about editing using blender uh, so if you want to watch if you want to learn more about editing in blender you can just use that uh, watch that and see how you can edit different things in blender but uh, anyway that's it i just do that and uh, then output change the output format the, now from uh, the, P the image sequence to any video format you, you want to use. I would recommend FFmpeg because FVI is always a bit uh, large uh, so and uncompressed. But I think there are settings you can use to compress it a bit. But uh, uh, I usually use MP4 uh, because that's lighter and uh, retains uh, the, the quality uh, even better. So, uh, so the encoding, I, I would recommend uh, MPEG-4. Uh, if you're trying to export this to a software like Premiere Pro, uh, then you would not need uh, this step here. Of uh, you would just import the sequence directly in uh, uh, in Premiere Pro. But uh, uh, because uh, if you export uh, this Matroska uh, format, uh, which is MK4 format, uh, Premiere Pro and most Adobe uh, softwares don't import uh, that format. So I recommend H246. Uh, which is under MPEG-4, then H246, uh, that will imp export MP4, uh, the MP4 format. So choose uh, the different encodings you want. And also, if you want to have audio in, uh, you can add an audio strip there. So import audio and find uh, some audio. So I'll just find uh, YouTube music. Where is that? You can find something like that and uh, put it on top like that and now if we play back okay i have my desktop audio turned off but uh, i guess yeah so you can also use blender as your editor as you can as you're seeing here so yeah and then after you've done that make sure you, if you want to export the audio uh make sure you have audio enabled here you can choose any of the formats here i usually use mp3 or ASC because that's what I usually see people using so I'll just switch it to that and uh, then you hit export <coughs> so because this is a this is a a PNG sequence it's going to render out faster and uh, Blender will rarely crash when you're exporting re-exporting a PNG sequence because it's not really uh, using a lot of resources and uh, if uh, the, the computer shuts off or anything uh, it's not going to take you a lot of time to export this, re-export this again. So yeah, that's why you have to export a PNG sequence because uh, another thing I, ha I maybe forgot to mention is that uh, if you're exporting out a PNG uh, sequence and uh, Blender crashes, you can start where you left off. So as you saw, let me go back to layout. 
I'll say we are rendering out this and uh, exporting this and uh, let's say this is the PNG sequence we are exporting. Uh, it exports out image per image for every frame you're rendering. So if Blender crashes or power goes off when we are rendering, when we have stopped rendering at uh, uh, 104, then you just start rendering at frame 105. And when, I, when Blender exports, it, it will start exporting at that uh, 105 frame and start exporting the image 105. And uh, the way you do that, you just uh, if you know that uh, Blender crashed at here, you just come here and uh, type in start at 151 uh, or 152 and uh, Blender will start exporting from there and uh, all the other images will still be saved, uh, which is not the case uh, if you're exporting other formats, other video formats like MP4 and uh, yeah. So that's it. After you have done setting up uh, the PNG sequence and everything, you just hit export and uh, you're good to go. Uh, thanks for watching.